I used to work in a school in the um, office. Um, and I was there for about 22 years or something like that. And um, um, about five years before I left, I felt that I was called to be a, a priest. So now I am actually, I'm a, I am a priest. I'm not actually the vicar, vicar um, because I don't get paid. I'm not in charge of the parish, I just do, uh, but I can take the services. I can't read very well, so I don't, I haven't seen a, a book for about three years. I can't read a book. I can say the words sometimes, and sometimes I can't. And in a, in a sentence, I can't make it make sense. If I, even I can say each word, word I can't make them say what it's supposed to say. It's just like duh, 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 duh. It doesn't come, not, not as if, you know, it doesn't mean anything. And I can't remember just everyday words. It's not like when you can't remember somebody's name. It's not like that. It's just like that, a word like table or the window or things you've said for all your life. And suddenly you can and then one day, scalf, there's one word I can never remember, it's because scalf of a thing, when, actually I can't even say it, and I know what it is, when they're in a building, you know, you have the scalf of a thing, whatever it is, and I've got it written down in my phone, and I look at it, and I try and say it, and sometimes I can say it, and sometimes I can't. I know what it is, all these things I know, but I just can't say the word, or just not, rem not remember it, or can't say it, one or the other. There's two things. It's one thing saying it one way, or just not knowing it. And there's two different things. So it's um, very annoying. <laughs> the people who know me well know that they have to speak to me close quite quickly, no, slowly, slowly. And I have to, I like to look at people's face because that helps. But of course, when people are excited about something or want to tell you something, something, they do to speak very too quickly and it, I can't understand. I mean, I feel well, I don't feel poorly and I've just got to make the best of it, really. It's not gonna go away. And I have carrying on doing what I can do and um, explain to people about it so they can, you know, go, go along, really. But I do worry about the thought of that maybe I won't be able to speak at all at some point. And, um, and if the time comes when I'm living on my own, I will be worried about that because um, the phone and people coming to the door and all the other things that you need to do in a house. <laughs>